about running for the White House to taking on the White House, a new group called Keep America Safe, challenging President Obama on foreign policy and whether he's compromising too much. Liz Cheney, Bill Kristol are leading the way, along with my next guest, Deborah Burlingame. Well, should ring a bell. Her brother Chick was the pilot of that hijacked American Airlines flight 77 that crashed into the Pentagon on 9-11. Deborah, why are you doing this? Well, thanks for having me here. Good to have and you as, um, as usual, I love talking to you, Neil. We're doing this because uh, we feel a, a, a growing sense of alarm on the part of the American people that the Obama administration is taking us back to um, pre-9/11 uh, policies that really uh, we we should have learned from a long time ago, um, taking us back to a weak posture uh, and national defense. And so um, it is a growing sense of alarm, the enormous number of uh, emails that uh, we get from ordinary Americans saying we've got to do something, we have to marshal. And, and so what this website and this organization wants to do is give people a voice, educate them um, about some of the stories and facts that the mainstream media overlooks or glosses over. So you think he's He's sort of letting down our guard. But, you know, bad guys or nuts or whatever you want to call it, Deborah, hit very, you know, forceful presidents on foreign affairs and not so forceful. Ronald Reagan had the Beirut embassy bombings. Uh, Bill Clinton had a couple of attacks under his presidency, the last president, of course. So they show no discretion. No, but, you know, uh, people talk about going back to a, a pre-9-11 <clears throat> mentality. The fact of the matter is we really can't go back there. We know things now uh, that we didn't know in the 1990s. Maybe a handful of people knew, but in terms of uh, foreign policy or national security policy. Um, well, how do you know they're not still being vigilant behind the scenes without saying it or... or well, because, uh, you know, I've been in the White House uh, with President uh, Obama where he's uh, said that he actually believes that cl closing down Guantanamo is going to make the country safer. Um, th most of the American people do not believe that. Erasmus Rasmussen poll says that... So you think if a couple of those guys came here in a, a maximum security prison, oh, we are giving up what? Well, I think if you bring those people here and give them the same rights that American citizens have, um, you are creating a great problem. Uh, number one, you've got courts, federal judges poised to let them go. Um, that will happen if they're brought here. And we know that the um, human rights lawyers are poised to drop those motions to make that happen as soon as their feet touch ground. It's not just that. Um, it's missile defense. It's military strength. You think it's a systemic pattern. What do you think of him receiving the Nobel Peace Press? You know, I, I'm, um, I, I don't think that it's something that he um, tried to get. I think it was bestowed on him by a handful of Norwegians. Do you think who, it was an anti-Bush? Th there's no question, I, don't, I think, in everybody's mind that this was another slap at the Bush administration. But um, I don't think that it's something that we should particularly be proud of because it's uh, really an insult to the so American people. So let me ask you this, think that their opinions I, I matter more that. than ours. Let's say he has two terms, President Obama, and we're not hit in those two terms. He will come back and say, Deborah Burlingame's reservations notwithstanding, I kept us safe for eight years. We were never attacked because I reached out to the world. What are you going to say? Well, here's what I would say, that even um, Attorney General Eric Holder has said that we inherited a, a national security infrastructure that was put in place by the Bush administration that worked. We see that as they're rolling up these um, terror networks, domestic homegrown terrorist networks here. But you have a Congress, a Democratic uh, leadership that wants to roll back on the Patriot Act, get rid of some of the tools that our, uh, our law enforcement people are using, and they want to criminalize um, the, the war on terror by going after CIA operatives, that is not, look, I hope we don't get hit in the next eight years, and that's why we're out here, to, to hold their feet yeah. to the fire so that they do not roll back on these great uh, terrorism tools that were put in place after 9-11. Deborah, I don't care where folks are on the issue, but your brother, wherever he is, has <laughs> got to be very proud of how you have championed on years after his tragic death. Very good seeing you. Good seeing you, Neil. Deborah Burlingame.